Right, just thought I'd do a quick clip of uh, these self-watering buckets I keep waxing lyrical about. I've just got one from a well-known cheap supermarket, Aldi. I'm paying, I think, for them ones, which are the smallest ones. Uh, I think they're 4.99, but they're, they're, they're well made. These that I've just got from Aldi are 2.99, but there's a big, big lump on here, which is just I don't know. It's not even necessary. It's just taking up room. But I suppose you have most of the, you'll have these outside. There's your plastic tray, sits in the bottom. You pack that cup with soil, and that hangs down into your water reservoir. You can just see the four pegs help it to stay off the ground. And then one thing it doesn't do with these for 2 99 is it doesn't come with a tube to come out of there, but all you need is a bit of, I'd say, I don't know, don't quote me on this, but I think it's half inch waste pipe. And just pop it in there and cut it to what length you want and then fill the soil up well pack that that first quite tightly then fill the soil up and put your pepper in or whatever you're going to put in i don't wife stand up right so i've come with a piece of waste pipe i put a little v in the bottom just so if the pipe sits down and it's flat it doesn't pour out as quick. You don't have to do that. Don't know whether it's necessary, but if it's the way I see it is, if it's sat on, a, on the bottom of the pipe like that, water isn't going to come out of it as easy. So I just put a couple of little V's in, and then I always put it probably about an inch to to two inch higher. You can put it. Some people put little uh, upturned pot bottles so it's easy to fill them up but uh, yeah so that's that now all I have to do is pack, I pack that quite tightly and then just build from there and what I've got to go in is this lovely lovely monkey here which I think is a scotch bonnet don't quote me on that because there's probably I got three boot jalokis from uh, uh, I think it's is it chilly? I'll have a look anyway and put the, the link up. I think they'll appreciate me giving them a bit of free advertising. Uh, it's from Cartmel. Uh, three boot jalokies. They're in the light box at the moment upstairs. So, But apart from them three, I haven't a clue what I'm growing this year. It's... Uh, but anyway. So yeah, I think that I'll, uh, I think I'll enjoy sitting in there. So I'll pop that up. And then I'll have a look at it once it's potted up. And I trapped myself to another thing, which was a self-watering hanging basket. It has a self-watering tube as well, but I'm running out of room in this greenhouse. It's got a absorbent mat as well, which if I take out. You can see it has a little wick that drops down, so that's going to wick through the whole base, plus. Self watering reservoir in the bottom as well. So, similar to that, but instead of it having a pot hanging down in the middle, it's got a little wick, and that'll give it a nice sort of even spread of water across the bottom of it. What I'm going to do in that is I've got just a few, uh, I think they're probably jalapenos or something along those sides. So, I reckon them three, that one in the middle these two tuck down the sides and then just hang it up there I think now I'm running out of room I think right against that door there quite nice think, move the fly paper so yeah I'll pop that up and uh, show you what that looks like as well and everything else is quite kicking off quite well there's quite a lot this year I'm just not going to top because it's just I'm just far too far behind the ones that I have topped are really bushing out I mean go on, look at that I think that's an ahi lemon. You can just tell by it. We've got similar leaves to. Uh, I'm trying to think, is it basil? Uh, one of the herbs. Got really soft, big leaves. But yeah, 
all the rest of it. I'll do a proper update, but I just wanted to show these pots because I'm, I'm really happy with them. Although what I did do, which is another learning curve, is uh, I planted quite small seedlings in the pot and then I filled the pot up, which soaks the water too much. Uh, soaks the water, soaks the uh, the ground too much, the compost. So I think until you've got a, quite an established plant in there, you don't want to be putting any water in, or very, you know, because it just soaked it up, and I ended up getting a lot of them little swines, fungus gnats. Don't like them. So uh, yeah, try not to fill the, your things up until you've got a nice, healthy plant that needs quite a a good watering. Right, anyway, I'll fill these pots up, see how we get on when we're finished. Thanks for watching and listening to my endless dribble. Right, I'll go and do my jobs. Right, I've started to pot that one up and just ran out, so just another quick tip is uh, what I used to do was literally I buy uh, Westland's multi purpose compost, went into the shop and it said two for £12. When I went to the till, they printed the bags up wrong, and it's three for two pound. So quite, I mean, there's hundreds of different composts. I wouldn't go for the cheapest one, in my experience. But what I used to do was literally empty it out into the trough, and then put it in the uh, in your pots, and away you go. Bad idea. What you need to do is. When it's been in the bag, it's just literally, it's far too compact. What you need to do, you give it, get it into it, give it a good rub. There's lots of big lumps in it and stuff like that. You need to break all that up. And, oh God, I've got such a scruffy greenhouse. I need a bigger one. What I use is, perlite. I'll run a load of perlite for it and give it a really good mix up which I'll do now and just look at how much there is in there and then once it's all fluffed up there'll be a bit, nearly twice as much. Anyway I shall go on with mixing that and I'll get back to you in a minute. Right so that's had a real good mix up you can just see it's just there's so much more and uh, it's got nicely aerated now which there's no big lumps in it so the roots can find their way through to the nutrients. The perlite holds moisture and then slowly releases it. Helps it, just peppers don't need too much water I've found. As you can sort of tell by quite a lot of uh, my plants that are yellow, far too much water. So you wanna be getting into the nice green. You just see that leaf there. It's too much water in them. But yeah, a bit of preparation at the, at the start with your soil will help your peppers grow a hell of a lot better. If you're just chucking in out of the bag, you got your only yourself to blame. But you want something, look, look at that, it's lovely. You can just feel it, you just tell. So I'll finish off potting that up and then I'll uh, pop me other ones up in my hanging basket and then I'll get back to you again. Oh God, rain again as usual, but it's nice and warm in here, it's a good sort of, I've got the door open and it's run what, well, I don't know, 17, 16 and a half, 17 degrees, it'd go up to a good 25, 30 if I shut the door, but I want to get a bit of air through, but yeah, anyway, I'll start waffling, plan these up and then I'll show you, show you the, uh, results. Right, so I've finished potting that one up now, it's all nicely in his new arm. It's slightly off centre, which always annoys me. I like to get right in the middle, but I'm sure, <laughs> sure once it bushes out and you can't even see the pot, it won't make a blind bit of difference, but uh, yeah. So that is self-watering pot from Aldi for 2 .99. and I think if you're as sad as me and you love your peppers so much, it's well worth it. Uh, if you do live in this country, or obviously they'll sell them all around the world, I would have I would thought, uh, and you've never tried one, please just go out and treat yourself just to one and see what you think of them, because I think they are the future. <laughs>
No, I think mean, for the price, I think they're brilliant. I mean, there's, I've looked at the uh, quad uh, grown and all that, but you're just talking money, 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 and I, I, I don't see point in spending a huge amount of money on uh, growing peppers. Everything's relevant. I'm skin, so I don't want to spend a lot. Every, you know, if I had loads of money, I probably would have a huge polytunnel and uh, loads of stuff, but. I think that slightly defeats the object for me, which, well, this just sums it up. Uh, for my sieve, I found a old wicker chair, and that's what I used for my sieve. I could have spent six quid on a sieve, other sieves are available, but I'm all about saving a bit of money here and there. So, each their own. You can... I mean, you could grow your peppers in uh, in an old shoe if you wanted. It's not about uh, how much you spend on stuff. Sometimes stuff that costs a lot isn't always the best. But I'd, I'd highly recommend these. They're not the nicest looking pot. A bit girly for me. With the uh, little motif now. And they're quite big, but... Hey, proof's in the pudding. So, yeah. We'll see how we get on with that, and I'll put up my hanging basket, and uh, I'll get back to you on that one. Right, I've finished putting up the hanging basket now. So, that's that. I bought that really because I'm running out of space, so I thought it would be quite handy to hang it above. It was 4 99 and to be honest with you, I could have bought for an extra pound, I could have bought two of them, so it's just I'm running out of space. I'd normally buy, they must have had 300 of them in, I'd have, I'd have bought a shed load of them, but uh, there's just nowhere to put them now, as you can probably see. I probably could do with extending that across, and that'd help me get a lot more height. Could do with really a bigger greenhouse, but no matter how big my greenhouse is, I'll just grow more peppers, so I'd never have enough room. Well, so I'm not whingy. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll do a bit of an update and I'll go through them all when it's a bit better weather and I can get them all out and we can have a look at them. Okay, thanks very much for watching, dropping by. Hope everybody's having just as much fun trying to grow in this erratic weather as I am. But well, it's after fun, I suppose. Anyway, till next time. Bye. Keep on growing.